Almost all my work starts with an experience of being out there drawing. Last September I was really lucky to be in Lungibiran, Svalbard, uh, at the Arctica studio on a residency that was supported by the Queen Sonia Print Award. It allowed me to explore the Arctic landscape um, and I could develop this back in the studio that overlooked the fjord. In the studio I would review my field work and that visceral experience of being in a place and the kind of impulse of time and weather that can work its way into the drawing. I'm surprised sometimes that what feels like a chaotic struggle can be captured in a drawing uh, and can recall that physical memory of being out there. I want to portray the beauty and drama of this extreme place but also I realise that the landscape will probably change beyond recognition within my lifetime. Um, Svalbard's at the front forefront of climate change and it's now considered the fastest warming place on earth. Artica is a professionally equipped print studio and I was able to start developing my field work onto a series of prints whilst I was there. Um, the graphic possibilities of print really interest me. It feels like an extension of my drawing practice. One image that I've been working on from my Svalbard residency is made from Isfjorn, which is a range of mountains opposite where the studio was situated. In the evening, the sun would sink beyond the horizon and it gave this really unearthly quality of light to the mountains and sea. Um, working in Indian ink, I just drew on to a transparent film. There's a directness to this drawing process I guess the inky marks of the media are quite faithfully captured on the film um, and I think I have a graphic sensibility to the way that I work I'm, I'm kind of interested in those qualities of tone and mark I like the way the ink has its own character and sort of does its own thing the fluidity of the ink and the way it sort of settles and dries on the film the transparency then becomes a positive that I expose with ultraviolet light onto a light sensitive plate and the developed polymer gravure plate is kind of pretty faithful in terms of the tones and textures of my drawing marks that I've made on the film. The monochrome image needed a blush of colour behind it, so um, I decided to make this element of the print in woodcut. Um, once I cut the wood block, it was rolled up with a blend of ink um, from an almost transparent tint to a fuller colour. And then dampened paper was laid over the ink block and it was run through the press. You can see here the blend of colour, so it goes from that sort of transparent tone through to a fuller colour at the top of the image. The polymer gravure plate was then wiped with ink, uh, much as an etching plate would be, um, and then that was printed over the top of the woodcut base layer. Making a print I think it has this wonderful staging and layering of an image. Um, there's an anticipation when you're pulling a print and that reveal when you remove the paper from the plate. The pressure of the press, um, sometimes it, it sort of magically fuses these two disparate layers together to produce a final image. Um, and I love the surprise. You never know quite what's going to happen. <laughs> 